New COVID-19 restrictions are going into effect tomorrow for several Metro East counties. The measures could have significant impacts on local businesses. News 11's Kelly Hoskins is live in East St. Louis, where Governor J.B. Pritzker and community leaders held a news conference today. Kelly? Well, Mike, that announcement was made right here in the heart of East St. Louis, outside of the Health District, where Governor J.B. Pritzker says that there is a renewed effort to help reduce the spread of the coronavirus as the number of COVID-19 cases continue to rise here in the area. New COVID-19 restrictions are going into effect Tuesday for several Metro East counties. If the data shows the virus is spreading, I won't hesitate to tighten restrictions to protect our communities. I've said that all along. Your health and safety is my paramount concern. Multiple restaurants and bars could really feel the effects of the new rules, like at Pops Fish and Chicken in East St. Louis, a family-owned business. We usually close around 12 and uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. On the weekdays, we close at 12. On the weekends, we close at 2. So it's kind of really hitting us hard because we don't get as much business as we usually get. It's not really as packed as it usually be. Um, but we're trying to hang in there. We're hanging in there as best as we can. The state mandated restrictions are being implemented because the general region has had three days in a row where COVID-19 test positivity rates has been 8% or higher. The restrictions include bars, restaurants, and casinos closing by 11 p.m. Reservations will be required at restaurants and bars, and there will be no congregating indoors or outdoors. Indoor tables must be six feet apart and can only seat six people or less. Bar stools will be removed to help prevent congregating, and there will be a reduction of gathering sizes to lesser of 25 people or 25% of room capacity. Reception halls must also close and party buses won't be allowed to operate. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, I have made it clear that neither arbitrary dates on a calendar nor political pressure can change the facts and the science that will determine what efforts Illinois should make to protect our people, and I mean all of our people. For three days in a row, Region 4, including the entire Metro East region, has exceeded an 8% average positivity rate, a trigger for new, stricter mitigations based upon the resurgence plan that was announced back in July. Now, the governor says if those numbers decrease, then some of those restrictions will be eased. But if the number of COVID-19 cases go up here in the area, more restrictions will be put in place. Live in East St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, News 11.